I'm not going to talk about any uh, rumors or innuendos or jobs or what else is floating out there. I'm not going to talk about that at all. We'll talk about this year's team. I'm not talking about anything other than this year's team, uh, this year's season, and this year's bowl preparation. That's all I'm going to talk about. Y'all have not understood what I just said. You know, one more question in this conference, unfortunately, and y'all have been super, but if the questions persist outside of that, then then uh, then this thing will be over. Okay, on the Fiesta Bowl then, are you going to be coaching this football team on the Fiesta Bowl? You <laughs> say that <laughs> You're a tricky guy, Dave. <laughs> Uh, what a difference a day makes. It is College Football Live. Scott Reese hanging out with a coach, Jim Donnan. Robert Smith will join us just a couple of moments from now. And, of course, the story today, Rich Rodriguez leaving West Virginia for Michigan. He takes over the winningest college football program in history. And today, Rodriguez introduced to his new people as head man of the Maize and Blue. It's an honor and privilege to be named the University of Michigan's head football coach. Uh, I will tell you, it was a very difficult decision uh, to leave the place where I grew up, uh, the program that we had built over the last seven years, to leave family and friends and, and, a, and a wonderful team with great young men. And as I mentioned, it was a very difficult decision. In order to uh, leave there, it was going to take a very special opportunity, a very special place, and I think that's what this is. If you want to know our system, our philosophy, uh, if, you, if you turned us or turned on your TV and watched this over the years, that's what you'll see. And we're going to do what we've done. That's the only thing we know. And, you know, we, I think we have the ability, I know we have the ability to adapt our schemes to our personnel, whether it's offense, defense, or special teams. But our philosophy is, is, is something we've done over the last 17 years. And, and we have enough capabilities to tweak it to the guys that we have here. Um, you know, we, I don't know uh, all the particulars on how you know, things were run here, but I do know you've had great success. And, and I know these players, uh, they're outstanding players, they're good students, they're good people, and uh, they know how to play football. We'll hear more from Rodriguez throughout the afternoon. Uh, meanwhile, here's a guy who played football at West Virginia in the mid-80s. He won an NAIA national title with Glenville State, O coordinator for that unbeaten Tulane team in 1998. Then in 2001, returned to coach his alma mater, and since then, He's won, oh, almost 70% of his games. Uh, Coach, this is a big, big hire for Michigan. Uh, what do you think about Rodriguez taking over the Wolverines? Well, you know, Scott, I've known uh, Rich Rodriguez since 1992 when he was a coach at Glenville State, and he, he is the innovator, and he's the guy that started to spread offense as we know it now. And I think he's certainly going to have a tremendous impact, which we'll talk about in a little bit about uh, the Big Ten Conference. But this is a guy that really knows how to spread the field, how to utilize his power running game, and he also uh, works around his defense. When his defense is pretty good, he, he uh, protects the football. So he'll, he'll have a tremendous impact on recruiting. He'll have a tremendous impact on, on this program. It's a tremendous hire. Mm. Uh, we bring in Robert Smith now, who is uh, an Ohio State guy. So I'm curious to know, Robert, what do you think about the, the old rival up there in Ann Arbor bringing in Coach Rodriguez? Well, I think it's a great move for them, and it's funny when you look back uh, at the beginning of the season for Michigan with Appalachian State and then Oregon, those two straight home losses to start off the season really embarrassed them, and now they go for a spread offensive coach. I think it's kind of interesting, uh, but I, I think he's a great coach. I think it's a great fit, and for all those people uh, that, are, that are questioning, well, you know, you said last year that you're not going to be leaving, and now uh, you take this job even after signing the extension. You know, I, th I think that, uh, you know, this is such a prestigious job. It, it was a, it was a no-brainer for him. This is a, a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Uh, I think he, he made the right decision. All right, Robert, thanks much. And, uh, of course, the reference to last year when he said he was not going to take the job at Alabama. Now he is lured away to Michigan, Coach. And, you know, this is always difficult on the kids. Uh, West Virginia's players have been inundated with uh, interview requests the last 24 hours. But they, they seem to be taking this all in stride. I know a lot of people are probably going to badmouth him in the media and stuff, but if you really take the time to like look at what he's done for this program, you know they should really just kind of look back and appreciate everything he's done because he's really done, uh, you know, a tremendous amount for this university. That guy, you know, bleeds blue and gold. Uh, you know, he'll be a Mountaineer forever, no matter you know where he goes. Very surprising to me. You know, uh, I you know I heard that he was. Coach Rob was talking to Michigan, and um, 
We had, we had a team meeting at 1.30 and we knew it was all for uh, a similar situation that we had last year. We had a team meeting and he said he was staying. and So I was just really shocked and surprised when uh, he said he was, it was a very tough decision, but uh, he was head of the Michigan. Now, West Virginia Governor Joe Manchin not quite so magnanimous, uh, saying, quote, something is wrong with the profession of college coaching today when a leader's word is no longer his bond. And it does not bode well for the student athletes who entrust these coaches with their futures. And we'll talk a bit later about the blurred ethical line that might be involved with some of these major coaching decisions. But right now, ESPN.com's Bruce Feldman with more reaction from the Mountaineers. Hey, Scott, I talked to Owen Schmidt yesterday, one of the team leaders of the West Virginia team. He's been in the program for four years, and he said that it was a pretty emotional 10-minute meeting that Rodriguez had with the players. A lot of guys on the team understand that this really isn't about Rodriguez's financial commitment. It was really more about what he was doing for the program, whether it was money going to assistance or, or a lot of smaller detail stuff. And Schmidt said he really understood where Rodriguez was coming from, and he, and he understood and he kind of supported his decision. I think, you know, there's a lot of guys who are going to kind of, this is filtered through the team about what was really behind this. It's a little more complicated than maybe the governor is trying to make it out to be. And we bring in uh, ESPN college football insider Joe Shad. Uh, Joe, we've heard from a few of the upperclassmen in Morgantown who seem to be relatively on board with what Coach Rodriguez is doing. I know you've been in touch with the folks down there. What are you hearing? Well, their star running back, Steve Slayton, kind of echoed what Bruce said Owen Schmidt had to say yesterday. He said he's not angry. He can't possibly be mad at Coach Rodriguez. He understands that this is a business decision and that it's also a family decision. Now, of course, we want to know, Steve, are you going to go to the NFL? Are you willing to play for a new coach? He said he's not sure yet, but he did tell me last night that learning another system and having a new coach would be hard. He said Rich Rodriguez was West Virginia. I said, can the West Virginia offense work at Michigan? It's really Really cold. He said, it gets really cold in West Virginia. It's not about how cold it is. It's about how fast your athletes are. And certainly Rich Rodriguez is going to try to get some fast guys to Michigan really fast. Yeah, uh, certainly some uh, far-reaching uh, ramifications of the Rodriguez move to Ann Arbor. Joe, thank you. We want to know from you, the people. It's our ESPN Sports Nation poll. Which school will have a better record next season, Michigan or West Virginia? Log on to ESPN.com. Let us know what you think. We'll let you know what you think a bit later on College Football Live. Now, Coach, uh, this move isn't just going to affect Michigan. It's going to uh, affect the entire conference. What will the impact be on the Big Ten as a whole? Well, I think the first thing is uh, Coach Rodriguez could go down to the bowl game and help him get ready to, to defend the spread. Uh, that'll help him a lot against Florida, help Lloyd Carr. But overall, I think this the impact he's going to have bringing in the type of athletes that run the spread offense, uh, more speed, more quickness. Uh, everybody's going to have to adjust. You see what Illinois is able to do with Juice Williams. You're going to see the same style of attack with uh, Coach Rodriguez at Michigan. And again, uh, Coach Rodriguez uh, will not coach West Virginia in its uh, bowl game. Uh, Robert, uh, your thoughts on, on how the Big Ten might wind up maybe having a different face top to bottom now. Well, these things go back and forth. I mean, with with Troy Smith at Ohio State, you know, they had some sort of a spread attack there. You see it at Northwestern. Obviously, you, you see it at Illinois now. I think the interesting thing for Michigan is going to be, will they have a similar problem to what you saw out at Nebraska with Bill Callahan and making the transition to some sort of spread offense, really bringing in a lot of talent on that offensive side of the ball, but struggling to bring in the athletes on the defensive side of the ball. Obviously, you only have uh, so many scholarships to give away, so are they going to be hurt in the defensive players that they can bring in? I think that's going to be interesting from Michigan's standpoint. All right, Robert, uh, you mentioned scholarships. The recruiting impact of this could be immediate as a Terrell Pryor, widely considered to be the top recruit in the nation. He's a quarterback, has uh, now indicated that West Virginia has been replaced by Michigan on his list of finalists. That list also includes Ohio State, Oregon, Penn State, and 